damage exchange on Giant right now. Now this is lovely. Uh, Giant's going to go for the trade out initially, but it was David P who's been lost. The kind of brimstone battle, but Giants are, are so aggressive. <laughs> Look at it. Anytime anyone shows like an inch, just that little step out of place, they pile into this. Right, jump speak now. Jump speak. <laughs> jump peak now spotting Yampi. He's been noted. Three very complimentary angles for the defending side now on the spike at least, whereas he's trying to peel them out of this. It's going to be so difficult if they play this correctly. Hoodie's the first to be tried to be cleared, but tucked into the corner. As soon as he crosses back through, it would be Meadow to catch him, but... One member Ambi still keeping Yampi occupied, and then that draws the rotation. Giants about to completely exploit this opening. Yeah, I feel like they identified that very early on. They tried to kind of lean towards it in the pistol, which is fine, but Sol Cass, you... I mean, look at this guy. He makes it look so smooth. The rifles are still there, though. David P did have the Spectre, but there's still plenty of firepower. This bang for the buck is in place. Flash through the smoke. Screams going in. Flash behind him takes a little bit of the blind, but that's perfectly fine. It gives him the angle to play with. Oh, that's not ideal. I mean, he's going to pretend that's what bench. he wanted to yeah, play it. Yeah, he's bench. It's fine. Little flash in front, kind of eats it a touch himself as well. It's not smooth yet for Scream, and that's what I want to see, though, is that smoothness, that ability to feel at one with the agent. You know, full-on just kind of... You know when the game just feels so easy to you almost, like everything's hitting, your utility feels so, so just fluid to you. Don't see that just yet, but they're trying to keep them locked towards the site, but they've now managed to make a way out. Uh, Scream's Gullies cost David P a little bit, but bear in mind this was the bonus to an extent. Yeah, Scream's down, fatigo has got him, and away we go, they should be just... A liquid too. Double swing. Scream's always going to get you one, it feels like. You give him something like that, but Link pushing up as well. Going to fall off the back of the flash. Actually ate a little too much of that, didn't turn well enough caught at least yet. Angle being watched here, Ambi could lose life. Solcast couldn't quite get that, there was the attempt from Yampi. <laughs> it was a, val a valiant attempt, but didn't quite work out. Fakes the flash to give him the angle, Ambi has to respect it, it's be blind or back away. And Cryptix is en route, but how much do they commit to this if Solcast, Solcast can't find one here? I think the game probably going to be damage, if anything, here. But Giants remain disciplined. Really want to take any of these points of contact. You're going to wait for Soulcast and Cryptix to maybe swing out. There you go. Meadow finds one. Soulcast down to 26 HP. Just a matter of time here. Be sure there's no possibility of him holding. He's going to be put down as well, leading the way through. And away we go. Yambi has to keep himself on his toes, but a little bit of a counter ult coming in to slow down the push. But David Peace already found space through shower. Him finding that towards Scream is a problem. They still know that Cryptix is around somewhere, probably not knowing exactly as to where now, and it's also that lingering op that's in the hands of Yampi that could pose yeah. a problem. It's interesting to see Yampi be the one to challenge, challenge the drone there. I don't know if they didn't want to reveal the stack, but typically when we've seen him flex onto this operator on unorthodox agents, he's usually playing left. backline. So really surprised by that, and it's going to force the rotation out from Giants. David P is still over here trying to bait some presence. Soulcast, though. Good for one. No, Mendo actually hard clears him. Well, this is the problem, right? You disengage for a second, you re-aggress. 11 seconds, though. There is actually a bit of a problem here. They might be able to get to the site in time if Yampi is going to be waiting patiently. Five seconds. Timing is by side, just lingering in his own ult. Just going, yeah, well, I'll just hold showers, mate. You, you get the rest. Yampi tries to isolate one, but Link's going to find David P. That's the punish. And now this is great from Cryptics if he was able to get more, because there's the fight back. Hoodie and Fatinho play it out just so well. They do not David sit P. passive. It's passive. They get proactive. David P actually had the spike. He was the one that hit that rotate through the TP oh lord. So Liquid actually going to flip this round on his head. Okay, maybe this uh, this could be the first one on the board. They need it. Fatinho, they're going to clear close. Gets down Link. No way! The mob is sublime! Fatinho is... I think with him sitting all the way towards L. We'll get something done here. Hoodie creeping closer and closer. I think Giants were trying to reset in here to protect the weapon. Yampi going to take first contact drifting through. Uh, I guess just rechecking showers once again. Should give a, a bit of information over. Orbital Strike going to be invested onto Lamps here. It's going to force Cryptics out. He's actually going to fall to its screen. Responds onto Fatinho, but you should run. a really tricky situation. Now, he's got to dig himself out of this corner. He can't do it. Mm, scream. I, I mean, if you'd showed me that clip without the name, I wouldn't have said that was Scream. I think he looks a little cold at the start of the day. Maybe going to warm up a bit. We'll start to see that aim come in. Now the 2v2 post-plant, and we said it. They get aggressive so in scenarios that they don't this is expect. so weird. <laughs>
I mean, they are hyper pushed in. Meadow here is sitting deep towards CT or pipes, however. Let's call it flash. He does have to respect it and he catches the follow up. That's great information. David has. Oh, soul cast directly. Oh, comes in. Let's see what they get here. Patino going to try and lead the way through. Link does not give away the game, but he gets noted. Look oh at these my kills. God. Look how systematically incredible that just was. Every single player just back to back. I, I can't stress it enough how good these side takes are. Whoever's been doing their prep, prep, prep work, their homework, whatever it is, it's gorgeous. And it's shut down. That is the perfect <laughs> side take. Perfect. Get the timing on it. Sova could turn and see this, but he's not. This is perfect. David P has threaded the needle again. I told you this guy's spacing is perfect. Yes, Yampi trades it, but now they have the full information. They know where Yampi is. He's going to have to pop the ult to try and stop this. But it, it, there's no denying it now. Yeah, he might get a tag at best at this point, but look at it. Hoodie's already in the site. That should have been a kill towards Scream, but it's not. The aim's starting to come on board. The Terminator is coming online. And now a 2v4, and there's rifles recovered. Tricky here for Giants to get anything done. Got to find a kill, ideally now, and it's actually going to be Soulcast that strikes first. Low-ish rounds, you know, mixed buys coming in from Liquid. These weren't the full purchases, the rifle rounds. Now Link again, still <laughs> going to find this. Gonna have to address that sooner rather than later. Patinio gonna have to respect it one way or another, but Meadow does in combination with the ult clear out Link. <laughs> it's so good. It's like he shows his hand once again with the judge. But take no damage for it. Spike should be able to be planted. Uncontent. <laughs> Ooh! Hoodie! Seconds left. Hoodie! Nastiness being shown. Scream going full. Call of Duty on that. Just gonna knife up in the air and hope for the best. Does it find any purchase? Nothing too much really to be worried about here, and a 3v2 is not easy to unravel, but let's see how they do on this. Scream through CT, cryptics towards heaven, the first steps are being made, and Scream of course on the KO, he ain't so subtle, ain't so quiet. De Whoa, Whoa, scream! No way! Ha, I was ha. ready, I was, I was okay. ready, Scream. I hear this aggression coming back from Liquid. Seek is invested, yeah, they're gonna force through. Yeah, Cryptix is in so much trouble. This is horrible. Actually, still going to get value on one, make it two. Okay. Cryptix digs in deep. He refuses to move. He's going to at least keep this viable. Now, Scream does look somewhat alive on the UI, but I promise you, he's, he's having a little dirt nap. So it is pretty much a 3v2. Make it a 2v2 as Solcas is still very much doing the work he can, and he's been invaluable in these scenarios. The clear off the back, and especially with Link with the Judge, could have been something, but Hoodie this time more than aware after those plays through Hooker in the past. Has to respect the ult. Could catch him on the cross. Let's have a bit of it. Let's see what Solcast has in the tank. One flash remains. He can still very much do this. Ugh, not gonna happen. Test. Uh, they've already had so many. Further validation on the cards. Yeah, Ambiati going to get caught up here. Luckily, slips away, but I think we're going to try and capitalize on this pressure right now, and Ambi will actually get caught out. Okay. Here we go. Now, Link did find Hoodie, so that's removed a problem. This is gorgeous work from Liquid. Very clean. David P. Not enough of him to go around. Tactical crouching, oh, still a bit of a problem isolating two from the others. And you can see David P wants to capitalize, but he couldn't. Cryptic's too aware, but Hoodie, good for two somehow. I do not know how he got both of those without a trade coming in. Meadow wants to do the same, expecting the play through the smoke, but he doesn't quite get taken down. Chipped away at to 82. Turns the flash easily, sees the barrel from Scream. There's a second coming in, no problem. Expecting aggression, but there was none. And Scream's pinned to this site. Yeah, this is really awkward for Liquid here. Scream gonna get forced out now by the paint shells. Nice kind of split. Three. Yeah. I think gotta do something to counter this pressure. And Fatinho actually gonna deal with the timing. And now there's a problem. He's not gonna expect Fatinho. The adjustment's gorgeous from Yampi, but the follow up there was always gonna be a trade out. Now, a little bit paranoid here. Hoodie's gonna instantly pop out Seekers. And he's not too bothered about it now. Rotation's gonna be coming in. You know, Soulcast is gonna just. Quick little flash, no one close by, clears you till and away we go. They should be- what? Meadow. Meadow. How did he find Scream there? I do not know. But Liquid having it all poured onto them. This is not easy stuff. Ambi spraying away. Soulcast though ahead of those smokes. David P reads it. Oh, and the follow up oh from David word. P. This man's on it today. He's feeling it. And that's a good one from him. That's 12. With you. Got themselves right back in. Straight away from Because Viper's bit, Hunter's Fury, all available. What's this? David's gone away with it. Oh, Yampi just no. runs in. 
Link seemed like he was desperately trying to check on it. You could see the intention yeah. fully. But David P still doesn't care. He gets away with it like a thief in the night. Backs away. No problem. Got that for free. But Liquid still have to commit to this. They still have to do something. Cryptic's offering himself up as the first man forward, but the flash comes in well timed. David P again adjusting through towards U Haul. You're gonna have the ultimate coming in. Hoodie there, work up the back of the flash. You want some more? They're gonna dip in towards the TP. They've got to get out, but the spike, it gets Beautiful. left down. And Liquid now split the last two so far away. They have to respect the ult, and the timing for Link could just fall off here. I think he caught a glimpse, and he does. He even catches the head of Meadow. And now a 2v4. Flash. Gives him the angle, gonna fall away from it as best he can. Soulcast is so low, 28 HP. Flash is there and another intent. But it's gonna be that. Well, it's gonna be down any of these sight hits here. Meadow's actually gonna feel the pressure initially. Decent paint shell. He's actually gonna guard the McKill. Yampi will fall off the rip. Couldn't quite control himself for a follow up on that. Fatini has still done a bit Ooh. of damage, but Liquid overall has come out at least with the advantage here. A 3v2, a little damaged up, sure, but the Ambi David P combo has been pretty deadly. But as is Scream's aim, of course, historically, this man will always be noted as a god. But Ambi, looking like Two a non believer. Low HP players. He's got every right to be doing this. And now Scream, you've got to be on today. Ambi respecting the aim, but still takes the fight and wins it. Oh, Ambi with a gorgeous clutch. No. The man is... This This should be okay, though, for Liquid. The burst towards A, but three players waiting to greet them at the door. And David P is already connected towards Soulcast. Problems now starting to build as Fatinio can just back away. And look at the HP. They're chipped. Oh, David P's walking this. You know he's walking this. He's absolutely walking this. David P reads the timing so right, and he can kind of almost be expendable to an in there. It was. Now knows what's up. So they're going to hit that rotation. They'll be playing for the post plant rather than denial of the spike plant itself. That's fine. Yeah, full information oh. now garnered. And spike planted. Well, let's have a look as to what we get. Post plants are all tucked on the site. There's no ground beyond that. Camera wasn't taken away. Did actually get the ping towards Link, but it's Fatinho to lean in through towards off the back of the rafters. Meadow sprays in. It's Fatinho to find Scream. Looks for Link. Notes him on the side. Fatinho's found him, and there it is. This is going to be such a problem for Link now. That pillar may be the death of me. Can't connect it and Giants. Oh, oh. They're all lined up here. He can just pull the trigger. He actually decides to dip away from this. Did get... No, he didn't get noted. Now he's in trouble. Going to get himself out of there. Give up the site. That should be a spike plant and Yampi is chasing. I feel like Yampi, when he's aggressive, he's kind of at his best. I love that unorthodox play he can bring out when it all looks right. But, no again, another retake going to be presented. Now, this is where it becomes a problem for Liquid, of course. Those weapons are a little lighter. And Link shows you what he can do. Good trade, though, for Hoodie. Not letting it get too far. Ambi, being very cautious with that op, doesn't want to lose it here to Yampi, especially. The scream actually pops the ult here to maybe slow down this retake a little bit. So Cass will trade out. One kill, so brings it to a 3v3, but... Last one, pillar. Every... Okay, the first tap's good for Scream. The second will evade him, but Cryptix responds now. And be last man with the operator. Difficult to get anything done there. A bit of room to play off the back of sight and Meadow waiting to swing. Doesn't need it. It's just Hoodie and Fatinio from heaven being such a nuisance. As Link tries to make the cross, not going to happen. And Yampi was meant to be maybe backline, maybe seeing post plant, but now he's surrounded. He's got a what? Ambi midair still hit. It's so slow from Liquid that... Look at what they've now got He's to committed. deal with. Yampi with the judge. Oh, no, my word. Nice. Oh, my God. The, all three of them stacked there. Fall away from the site. Instantly kind of posture into a retake. They've gone, no, oh, we don't need to fight this now. We've at least gone one pick. But... Fatinio, oh, careful Fatinio. now. Careful. Could have been much worse. But actually, it's Hoodie. Who caught off Link there, surprisingly. And now they hit the brakes for a second. The spike is still within the hands of Cryptix. Looking for that pick towards heaven, but now losing vision, losing sight. And David P makes his grand appearance. The scream back, sight put down. It's Quick piece from Liquid, it looks like. Ambi, this could be your time to strike. David P's got his back already, buying so much time, denying that initial play maybe they'd wanted to make. Link had to slow down. David P's still catching another glimpse. Full information being garnered. And David P's pushing this. He's you don't expect it, it but he's going to be there. He's 100% walking this. He did it before. He's done it again. Fatinio may be swinging on it. They'll be just fine. And he's read it. He's seen it. David P's got it all. This is a shutdown. This is Giants stride of giving them those advantages. So, if anything, it's Giants playing it. So mercilessly, and again, this time this could be everything. Oh, ooh, actually, I thought he might have lost out. No, he's fine, apparently. David P is impervious to bullets or the enemy. He's going to buy the time on the retreat. Soulcast is desperate to chase this. He still loses out. David P is unrelenting in this, and it's down to last two. Cryptics and Scream. And well, Meadow can wait. Arms wide open. Yeah, the flash is there, turns it, but... Scream was blind too. Jumps back in, but it's all wrapped up. David P is the... going to burst off the back of this, feeling as though maybe that's enough to give them the gateway in. 
Hoodie now has to respect that. He can't. He sticks around, sprays, can't get it. Scream does barrel forward. This is the first opportunity they've really had and the first time they've you know, maybe denied some of that push off the back. And there's still that player there. Ambi is still alive, barely able to see, barely able to do anything. Link's going to find him. Couldn't get away from it. The utility's too good, but apparently so is Meadow. Plays through from CT, catching off two, surprisingly. Link and Scream going to lose out. Spike in the hands of Cryptics. It's still a 3v3. I thought that was going to be Liquids all day long. And again, I guess at this point where David B will get caught. So this part of the round where ultimately Giants have this stall opportunity. Flash will give across the information. Cryptics gets the plant in. Patino tries to get ahead of the curve. Maybe five more seconds until he worries, but he's clearing this. He can call this clear. He can set up Ambi to still keep his eyes on. Spots out two on the retreat. Did not get the connection he wanted. Now it's time to re-aggress. There could be some really good pieces coming out of this from Liquid. They still have a great deal of opportunity. Liquid taken down mid. And now we wait and see what this sight hit finally looks like. Three players tucked here, though, and you're not going to be able to see. Fatinho finally reveals himself. And look at this denial. It's, <laughs> it's just crazy. Scream now, last man's down. Bladestalker, Ambi. I like dislocated his wrist. Everything here has to get the timing just right. Could be. Now. Perfect. Time to go. Link's found Ambi. Sees them all. Gets one. That's really good work. He doesn't need to overdo this. Soulcast is going to take his place. The flash comes in. It's great. Liquid with the perfect read here. Wait. Yeah. Spike rotation. <laughs> and look at David P's position. Uh, don't. David P, don't, if he gets don't. two here. Oh, he doesn't. That would have been, I would say, the gateway. If he was able to get two, I would still see this being somewhat feasible. Think for Hoodie, kill for Yampi. Believe in the Yampi supremacy. What was the timing, Yampi? Oh. oh, here they come. They've got to know he's close by. They don't expect the judge, though. Gonna get two for all of that work, and they're probably feeling a little frustrated with that, but that is the value of Yampi. David, David P, P though, has man. again found the timing. This is terrifying to me. Link seems aware that someone could be here. There it is. Great shot from David P in the end. Took his time on that. The cross is being watched though. Scre Scream lets him get past. So Spike Plant can now come in and David P has taken space. This guy is a monster. He's running them absolutely ragged. And Scream's now had to find his way back into a 1v2 position noted. Finds David P. That's a big scalp to be claiming. Sees the brim of the hat. Wait, he didn't? Meadow. He did. Oh, now he did. Uh, Meadow might have just given him a window. No, huge work. It looks like there has been space found here, but this is a bit of a shoddy buy from Liquid. It's not perfect. There is one rifle on screen, so still a bit of leg to it. The ball goes in. Soulcast backside has to find it. Does great stuff from Soulcast. Exactly what they needed. Yampi dives in on it, puts his body on the line, loses. But now Soulcast gets teed up, gets another, dips away into the smoke. He's doing everything he can. Soulcast just clawing onto this, but Hoodie's still a little... No, Hoodie, Hoodie, Hoodie. No way do you any do any more. There we go. Recovery for Liquid and... Towards Heaven. The wait on that second smoke, though. I think that's why we're seeing this pause initially. Yeah, but actually... There we go. Can get ahead of it. Turned the flash well enough, or at least some of them did. It's a one for one trade, make it a two for one trade. There it is, there's the site now open and ready for the taking. Guns galore as well. They get the upgrades that they need. And a 4v3 post plant, but there's still stingers in this, still spectres here. David P being one of the players and Meadow with the other. Slightly weaker weapon. But again, all three players for Liquid right now in CT. This could be quite nasty. Not quite a full TikTok wall, but close enough. It looks like it's go time. And be waiting. And there's going to be a pixel out of place and it's going to be found. Yampi's going to punish Ambi this time. 3v2 players still advantageous towards the Giants. And it looked like Hoodie wanted to do it all, but now the post has become a problem for Link. But he's been able to find David P. Meadows probably left scratching that now, looking quite bald head. He comes around just fine. The Stinger will actually be okay, at least with that low HP on. Reward, right? The risk and reward for Giants in that round was perfectly manageable. That was a... What happens here? It's going to be a fast beat from Giants here, Lauren. Meadow, feeling a little disrespectful, wants to try and make the play towards Yampi. Get it to this. Cryptic still needs a fair bit of work off the back of it. Wait and see who comes through first. It'll be David P on the cross. And he's actually found Cryptic's good work from Scream. He needs another. Couldn't quite tame the recoil and hitting as Link gets just drive oh by God. by Meadow. It's looking like this is over. Soul Cash, your last man standing in a 1v3. Sheriff and a flash. Full on armor, but it's that first kill that might be the hardest. And yeah, Hoodie's already found him. They all peek together.